Let's say I try and thrust him, but he blocks and he's hard in the bind. Right after I posted this video, one of my instructors contacted me to tell me that I wasn't quite right. Sure, the movement of my hands is correct for duplarium, but the position of my blade, my body, and the stimulus to the technique are not ideal. So here's a better version. In order to do this, what we want to have happen is be in a strong position with my opponent's weak on my strong, giving me lateral pressure towards my opposite shoulder, and then they're going to start to withdraw. That's when I can do the technique. So how do we get there? Let's look at winding. I'm going to come into the bind in a strong position. My opponent's giving me that lateral pressure towards my shoulder, and I'm going to collect their blade and step to the side. I have wound. I'm in a good position. If they do nothing, I get to stab them. But they're going to do something. They don't want to be here, so they're going to try and withdraw and strengthen putting their mid on my mid so they can press to the side and gain advantage. But as soon as I start to feel them do that, taking the tip away, taking the thread away, that is when I can do duplirin.